Hey guys, I'm back with another video of Bloodborne, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get from the to Tomb of Oedon, where you fight Father Gascoigne, to Old Yarnum. It's a fairly straightforward path, honestly. Nothing too... Nothing too complex. Just go up there, open the gate, and come into this room, climb up the ladder. You'll come into this room, there's a note right there, and then there's a chest. Uh, if you open the chest, there should be a, um, on oh, the blood gem workshop too, tool, which allows you to put certain blood gems on your weapons, which give them special buffs and debuffs. If you talk to this thing, he'll tell you that you can bring people that are looking for a safe place there, and there was the one woman in Central Yarnum that was looking for a safe place to go. If you go back to her, talk to her, tell her to come here, she'll come here and sit in a chair like right here. But basically, you want to don't go out the front door yet. That's for later. And then come out the left door. There will be two guys here. You can parry them fairly easy. Uh, yet again, fairly simple enemy to take down. Come around here. There's an item. Top hat, hunter garb and hunter armor uh ignore that blue thing just don't get grabbed by it because if you do you're done <laughs> pick up that six blood vials i'm gonna put on the hop top hat just because i can um <laughs> if you come down here you'll get to this giant church like there will be a dog uh two dogs couple guys and fairly simple yet again just back up when they get attack and then attack again right there's cold blood dew some molotov cocktails if you walk around here don't go inside there yet you'll find two more dogs and then at the top of the stairs when you start to run up them the two dogs will come out and a guy with a rifle will start shooting at you you just want to back up, don't let the rifle man shoot you, and just um, kill the two dogs and then challenge the rifle man. Come down here, you can talk to this guy. I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You make a protege of Master Ligarius. And so, what say you? I pray, why not cooperate? Basically, he's a vile blood guy. He follows the vile blood covenant, and it's a PvP covenant. When you defeat a PvP enemy, or um, he'll give you fire paper. That is very important. Do not use it yet, and he'll give you a thing. But basically, you kill a PvP player or a in-game player that's like a PvP player. You know what I'm saying? They're sort of humanish. They're hunters. And they'll drop blood jigs, and you have to donate them, and then something happens. Right there's a madman's knowledge, and you want to pull this lever. When you pull this lever, the giant coffin in the middle will pull back. This guy, just quickly take care of him. Two hits. Then pick up another madman's knowledge. Come down here. You'll be about to come up. First off, you'll come up on this item, tempering blood gemstone, which you can now put on your weapon. That I think that gives like 0.7 physical attack. And then there will be this wolf. Now that you're a little farther in the game and there's only one of them, this these wolves aren't too particularly hard to take down. Just a couple normal attacks and a heavy attack will take them down. And then you can just run down these staircases. Climb down the ladder. I'm pretty sure there's no enemies for a little bit. If you come up this staircase, since it's broken right there, you can pick up antidote. Antidotes will be important later also because we will be coming up on some poison enemies. Come down here. You can light the lamp. And then walk over to the store. 
It says this town is long abandoned and hunters not wanted here. You can open the door. And boom. You're an old Yarnum. I hope this video helped you out. I, I hope this video helped you guys out. And if you did enjoy it, uh, drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.